If you've ever attended a worship service here at Prince of Peace, then you know we like to jam and pack as much information into our service folder as we can. Uh, background on uh, uh, different parts of the liturgy or uh, background on some of the things that we say and speak, uh, even some of the hymns that we sing. Uh, but the space is a lot of times limited, and so we can't always get all of the information that we want to share. And so I wanted to just take a couple minutes today uh, to give you a little of what I think is some pretty interesting background information and textual information in one of the hymns that we're going to sing this Sunday, uh, again, for Good Shepherd Sunday. Tons of great hymns and songs when it comes to this idea uh, this theme of Jesus as our Good Shepherd. Um, some that uh, people really love, maybe I am Jesus' little lamb, or the Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. Um, Jesus, shepherd of the sheep. There, there's just a ton of awesome hymns and songs with this theme. My favorite one um, is going to be the one that we're going to sing as our opening hymn on Sunday. And I think we, we pretty much do every year on this Sunday. And it's called The King of Love my shepherd is. It's hymn 375 in our hymnal, Christian Worship uh, Lutheran Hymnal. And it was written by a man named Henry, Henry Baker, um, who wrote a, a number of hymns, was a pastor or a priest in the Anglican church in the mid to late 19th century. Um, he wrote over 30 hymns. Uh, five of them are in our hymnal, um, or he contributed to others as well. Some of the more well-known uh, hymns that, that maybe uh, most people might recognize would be um, Of the Father's Love Begotten. Um, he added or contributed to a, a verse or two of that hymn. And then Redeemed, Restored, Forgiven, he wrote that hymn as well. But this one is by far um, his most well-known hymn. Uh, the King of Love, My Shepherd Is. And it is a hymn that is based on the Welsh translation or the Welsh version of Psalm 23, as really every um, shepherd hymn or song is. They're all kind of paraphrasing Psalm 23. As I mentioned, we'll talk more about that on Sunday. Um, and you'll notice the parallels right away, right? There's six verses to Psalm 23, and there are six stanzas uh, to this hymn. Um, but what I think is even more interesting are some of the, the connections uh, that Henry Baker makes between Psalm 23 and things that we see and hear throughout the rest of Scripture. For example, um, you know, in Psalm 23, we talk about how the Lord leads us beside quiet waters or still waters. And it's this picture of kind of a, a babbling brook or a very peaceful, serene setting up in the mountains or something. Um, but Henry Baker takes that connection and, and in his translation or in his uh, hymn, he writes um, at the beginning of verse or stanza two, where streams of living water flow. And of course, that kind of transports us to the New Testament. In John chapter four, when Jesus is talking with the woman at the well and Jesus refers to the living water um, that he gives and uh, those who drink of it will never thirst again. And of course, Jesus is talking about himself. Um, and so uh, Jesus isn't just leading us to, to drink, right? It's, he's not just leading us to a peaceful situation, but he, also, he wants to bring us into fellowship with himself, right? Um, he wants to draw us near to the living waters of the salvation um, that he has come to bring. So we've got almost kind of a baptismal connection, right, at the beginning of that, this, this water connection of Jesus giving us this, this gift through water. Um, but he makes another connection later on in stanza five, where he takes that verse in Psalm 23 toward the end um, that talks about uh, our cup overflowing, right? But the word that Henry Baker actually uses in this hymn is chalice. And of course, when you hear the word chalice, right, you think of the sacrament of Holy Communion. Um, and, and, and Henry Baker was doing the same thing, right? So he's making these sacramental connections in this hymn from Psalm 23 um, now into the, the New Testament, um, and not just in the Gospels, but into the lives of Christians. 
Uh, finally, I think one of the really kind of neat things is you look at the authors of a lot of these hymns um, to see the lives that they, they led and um, where they lived and you know how and when they died. Um, and uh, apparently, uh, as history tells us, um, Henry Baker on his deathbed uh, spoke the words of the third stanza of his own hymn. Those were his dying words. Um, and this is stanza three. Confused and foolish oft I strayed, but yet in love he sought me, Jesus, and on his shoulder gently laid, and home rejoicing brought me. Um, what, what a beautiful uh, final set of words to, to speak, um, words that he had written himself, words that he had no, no doubt sung countless times, and yet there on his deathbed he has this picture of himself being the lost and wandering sheep. Um, and as you're, you're lying there on your deathbed and um, the devil is bringing out all of the stops and, and one last chance to try and rip you away from Christ. And so he loads on top of your, your soul and your mind all of the guilt that he can possibly throw your way. Everything that you've ever done, every time that you walked away from Christ. And yet here's the comfort that he found. Um, for every time that I, I was lost and stranded and wandered and strayed, um, Christ came and found me um, and put me on his shoulders and brought me safely home. And as he did that throughout the, the life of Henry Baker, as he does that throughout the life of every Christian, right, as he calls us to repentance and gives us those precious words of absolution, here now he will do it one last time forever as he carries you home to himself in heaven. So, uh, too much to include, right, in the service folder on Sunday, but wanted to share that with you. Looking forward to singing this hymn and, and a number of other beautiful Good Shepherd hymns uh, this coming Sunday. God's blessings on your weekend. Hope to see you Sunday.